there's actually a number of different ways to print barcode labels out of Lizzie. And in this example, that I'm actually on the receive process for a purchase order. I've actually already received it. And this is a group print that I can do. Um, another thing that we can do is when we're receiving an, an order, the system will actually allow me to print barcode labels for the individual items by clicking this icon here. Or if I'm scanning the items or even hand typing them, I have the option to have Lizzie print the barcode as I am scanning in each item so that I can go ahead and stick them on the parts as I'm doing the receive process. Um, we can also uh, go over to the actual inventory item. Uh, if at some point you need to reprint a barcode label, you can actually come down here to the, the different bin locations and reprint those barcodes. Um, you can also select to print the price or not print the price on the barcode label manually if you choose to do so. Now, with respect to whether you're going to print prices on barcode labels or not, if we go over here to the settings section of Lizzie, in the inventory section, defaults, we actually have the ability to tell Lizzie whether we want to print the company information, whether we want to print the vendor, whether we want to print the price on the barcode labels, and, and so forth. Now, also, in addition to the, the options that we have here, if we go into, again, settings inventory, and we go into our inventory bins, we have the option of telling Lizzie that we want to only print prices on specific bin locations. In other words, there's no point in printing a price on a part that's stuck in the back in the inventory bins and I'm the only one that can look at it. If it's a part that's up on the front counter, I want to print the prices on those barcode labels so that the customers can see what the, what the parts cost. Now, another advantage to doing the, the bin location printing as well is that when you get a new price file loaded into the system, Lizzie will actually show you which part, parts in the front counter that are, are selected to print barcode or prices on them. She'll tell you which ones need to be reprinted so that you have the most up-to-date prices on those labels. Uh, so you can print items and other places that you print barcode labels are in the inventory pull form, the transfer screen. Those types of places also have the ability to print barcode labels. So there's a number of places that do it, but it's a very handy feature um, built into the software to speed up the process of selling the parts, handling your shipping, special orders, and all of those types of things.